Right now, scores of Vol fans are cheering on the Big Orange across the state and, of course, right here in Knoxville. 10 News anchor Shea Smith joining us from Schulzbrow, where they're watching it on the big screen. Howdy. Hey, John. Hey, Robin. That is right. Dozens of people are here cheering on the Vols. And as you said, the good guys are up 4-0 to zero right now. Only one out and one person is already on base. Now I spoke to several fans uh, here that are watching the game and a lot of them even told me that they didn't really keep up with the baseball season this season until the boys got to the World Series. But I spoke to a lot of fans about their pride for the Big Orange. Hundreds of people around Knoxville are spending their afternoon at local bars and restaurants cheering on the Vols. Uh, yeah, just watching the game with some of our friends. Um, haven't been here before, so we, uh, we heard it was a place to be, so we we're going to try it out. We go to UT, and we wanted to support while drinking some beer, and this is the place to come. We love German beer. Yeah, got to have fun when watching the game. You know, uh, had a day off. Figured no better way to spend it than cheering on the Vols and having a couple beers. The College World Series is turning some regular Vols fans into baseball fans. Um, been watching all the College World Series games. I think it's been a great season so far. I've only watched the World Series part, but you know, go Vols, baby. Some Vols fans say they've always been lifelong fans, but this season is more special. I'm an incredibly proud fan currently. My father played baseball for Texas A&M, so baseball's always been in the family. And uh, I'm just happy that I get to see it happen. Whether they're a sports fan, a Vols fan, or a baseball fan, they all say they think the baseball Vols are bringing home a natty. Of course, of course. I know they surely will. No doubts at all, nope. no doubts at all. And fingers crossed all of the fans are correct that the baseball balls will be bringing home a natty after the College World Series. Now, as you know, the game did get pushed back from 3 to 345. So starting out, there was only a handful of people here around 230 and 3. But as the game started getting closer to start time, people really started to fill up here in Schultzbrow. Obviously, we're all we are all hoping for the same outcome for the balls to win. And right now, it's looking good. We don't want to jinx it, but it is looking pretty good. Much better than maybe Friday night when we were down by a few, a few <laughs> yes. runs. Yeah, and now that it's after 5 o'clock, I have to think there's going to be just a barrage of people sure. heading your way. All right, Shay, thank you.